In this example, we're going to find the intercepts of this function f of x. If you'd like to try it on your own, first go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll find the intercepts together. All right, so I have two columns here, one for finding the x-intercepts and one for finding that y-intercept. And remember, this is going to be a quadratic function, so its graph will be a parabola, so it will have one y-intercept and either 0, 1, or 2 x-intercepts, but as you can see, it's already in factored form, so it will indeed have two different x-intercepts. So we find these x-intercepts by plugging in 0 for y and then solving. So remember that your f of x here serves as your y, so I just need to say 0 equals and then negative 3 times the x plus 2 times the 5x minus 3. And so now it's just a matter of solving this equation. This is nice. Once again, as I mentioned, it's already in factored form. So all I need to do is use the zero property of multiplication, set each of these factors equal to zero. So I'll have negative three equals zero, x plus two equals zero, and five x minus three equals zero. Of course, the negative 3 equals 0 gives nothing, makes no sense. The second one, uh, when we subtract 2 from both sides, we'll see that x equals negative 2. And for the third one, we'll start by adding 3 to both sides. We'll get 5x equals 3. Then we can finish this off by dividing by 5, and x will be 3 fifths. All right, so what we can say now, we have these two x-intercepts. They're going to be negative 2, 0 and three-fifths zero. So there's one, there's the other. And we know the y is going to be zero, or the y value, or y coordinate, because we found the x-intercepts by plugging in zero for that y. Okay, so now let's go ahead and find the y-intercept. And so the y-intercept is gonna be found by plugging in zero for x. And so we can exchange the f of x for a y, and we can say y equals negative three times zero plus two times five times zero minus three. And this is really nice because this just zeroes out and that zeroes out. And what we end up with is negative three times two times negative three, which when you multiply all that stuff together, you get a positive 18. So our other intercept, well, your x value was zero, so it's gonna be zero, 18. And so in that way, we went ahead and found all three of our intercepts, two x-intercepts and one y-intercept for our original function in factored form.